Hi, I'm Jim Bendewald. I'm the developer of Phantom Knowledge. I've produced training for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the Inspire 1, the Phantom 3, the Phantom 4, and with the help of police officer Chris Litzkow, we have complete training for passing the Part 107 Knowledge Test. We now have several people who have taken our Part 107 Drone School and passed the FAA Knowledge Test, and I'm one of them. This series is training for DJI's Mavic Pro. This first lesson is to help you get your Mavic set up quickly so you don't waste a lot of time or make significant mistakes. Speaking of mistakes, some people get their drone out and they're anxious to get out flying, and that would be a mistake. I'm sort of guilty of that myself. When I got my very first drone, it was the Phantom 2 Vision Plus in the summer of 2014. It came in the mail just before we left to go on our family vacation. When we reached our destination, I tried to understand the software, but I found it to be pretty complicated with lots of new terms and the instructions were just too vague and too minimal. The Vision Plus drone was really cool at the time, but getting it set up was not so easy. The first day on vacation, I took the Phantom 2 Vision Plus out for a fly in a wide open field and it went okay and there was lots of room to play around. But the following day, my family and I were on an ocean beach, and my experience this time was very different. There was just too much wind, and I honestly don't know all the things that I did wrong. Anyway, I took off, and it almost immediately flew off into some trees. Fortunately, the Phantom and the camera with the gimbal survived, but my confidence was shaken. I quickly learned that if the drone changes direction, the controls did not automatically adjust as I expected them to. I then learned to use the advanced features, which DJI now calls intelligent navigation controls. Now this may be unique to the Phantom Knowledge training. I've never seen anybody else really emphasize the need for beginners to use the intelligent navigation controls. But I strongly emphasize that you need to understand a few of these intelligent navigation controls, even as a beginner. They'll help you to fly with confidence. So if you go right with the right stick, the aircraft will go right. Well, that's using course lock, and I believe that you'll find it to be very, very helpful. This lesson will discuss the intelligent navigation controls in lesson two, and demonstrate in lesson three and four. In this lesson, I'll walk you through the setup for installing the software, updating the firmware, and learning to connect the controller to the media device and to the Mavic Pro so that they're all talking to one another. I recommend that you get your Mavic out now and follow along. Feel free to pause this video as you need to.